Hi, today I'm going to show you how to test to ensure that your grounding product is properly functioning. This is by no means necessary, but this is just for the curious mind that wants to know, is everything working? So the first thing you want to do is you want to start by ensuring that you are using a properly grounded outlet. To do that, you can use an outlet tester. You can purchase this on Amazon, you can get it at a hardware store, or we sell it in our grounding starter kit. I'll be using a power block for this demonstration. I have already tested that the outlet that this is plugged into is functioning correctly. So just to make it easier on video, I'm gonna use the power block. So plug it in and it is properly functioning. We have off, on, on, that's correct. It is a grounded outlet. Next thing we're gonna do is look at the cord. We wanna make sure that the cord is properly functioning. All of our cords have a built-in safety resistance. This is to protect against an electrical shock in the extremely rare circumstance that there is a power surge, but it is a protective measure. So what you'd like to do is grab your multimeter, turn it to the ohms setting. You're gonna take one of the leads and put on one end of the cord, put the other lead on the other end of the cord. It doesn't matter which side goes on which end of the cord, it doesn't matter. You're seeing a safety resistance on the screen now of 90.8 kilo ohms. Our safety resistance is about 90 to 93 kilo ohms. The number doesn't so much matter as long as you're seeing a number on there um, for a safety resistance, it's, it's functioning, it's working how it should. So now that we know that the cord is working properly, we're gonna do the continuity test using our continuity tester. So I'm gonna take this cord that I just tested and attach it to the continuity tester and plug it into the outlet that I know is grounded. As soon as you press this button, you're gonna press and hold. As soon as you press it, it'll flash once to show that the tester is working properly. The battery inside it is, is okay and functioning. You're gonna make sure that your grounding product is also plugged in to a grounded outlet. So now you're completing a circuit. We're gonna to test to make sure we have a continuous circuit here. So I'm gonna press and hold, press and hold. You'll see the indicator light stays green. This shows that your grounding product is properly grounded. The last thing that you can do is you can do a body voltage test to see if when you're grounded, your body voltage is dropping, um, is correctly dropping. So this is important because as your body picks up these positive charges throughout the day, you want to be able to ground them off. That's the whole reason you're using a grounded product is to neutralize those charges, get rid of all that extra positive charge that's being held in your body. So you want to see your body voltage dramatically drop. So to do that, we're going to switch the setting on our multimeter to the, the AC setting. We're going to ground the black prong. Now this is important. You have to make sure you're using the correct prongs for this. You're going to ground the black prong in your grounded outlet. And then you are going to pinch, without being grounded, you're going to pinch the red prong. Okay, my body voltage is about 0.985. Now, while still doing all that, you are going to touch your grounding product and see if your voltage drops. Mine does pretty significantly. I am now 0.011. So again, not grounded grounded. That's what you want to see. Now, please note, if you are using a power strip, that's fine. No problem. Just make sure it's not overloaded. If you are grounding yourself in an overloaded power strip, your body voltage may actually increase. That's not what we want. That's what we call not good. So just make sure that you are not using an overloaded outlet or surge protector because you do not want your body voltage to increase. All right, that's your grounding tests. So uh, happy grounding.